We are witnessing the rebirth of an automotive brand. Lincoln is poised to make a comeback. The all-new Aviator three-row utility vehicle is taking the Lincoln brand to new heights. Let's check out the Aviator as we go behind the wheel with Harvey Briggs. This is a sharp looking vehicle. It is. I am really impressed with the styling on the Aviator. Lincoln designers got this big SUV right. What it is is an all new full size SUV, which comes in six or seven passengers, filling the three rows of seats. It's well rounded. It has great di driving dynamics. The styling on it is good. Comfort up front is, again, really good. But you're, you're paying a lot of money, but you're getting what you pay for it. What are we paying? Uh, in this, with all the options on it, we're at $76,000. That's everything. That's... It, it better be. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at it this way. The Aviator competes with German and Japanese models in this class that start around seventy grand, but loaded up like this Aviator would run you about 100000 bucks. Harvey really likes this vehicle, but his major complaint is the third row. You've got great wood trim here and nice soft touch surfaces here, but you get in the back and everything's hard plastic. And it's like, it's like... <laughs> the economy class. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Which, you know, I get it. You got to save money somewhere, but it feels like they could have just used a little higher quality material back here. Let's uh, take a look inside. I'll go this way. Yeah, let's start this up so you can see it. Yeah, you, know, you get the lovely little movie that plays when it comes up. Uh, I don't like these when they. Just, I it looks like an add-on. Yeah, this this would be the other thing. I would. I wish it were embedded in. They put it here because it's a touchscreen, and they wanted it close enough so you didn't have to reach for it. If it were, if it were more integrated back here, you'd have to reach for it. But. Um, it feels a little stuck on, and I, this, again, a material choice, this plastic ring. It just, that's the only other thing I look at and go, hmm, okay. So how is it on the road? Sorry, we can't go for a ride. I know. Damn COVID. <laughs> well, you can go for a ride. I can. I'll tell you all about it. This Aviator Reserve has a three-liter twin-turbo V6 that makes 400 horsepower and 415 pound-feet of torque, and that's mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission, so it gets that power down quickly. Acceleration in this is surprisingly quick. For Harvey, the most impressive thing about this vehicle is just how good it is. You know, five years ago, if you told me that Lincoln was going to be building the most luxurious American cars, I would have said, you're crazy. They just kind of got it all together and started building good vehicle after good vehicle, and it culminates in this Aviator, which is just a really great American luxury SUV. And Harvey joins us now from the Rides and Drives World Headquarters. Charlie, you'd look good in that car. Oh, thank you. $76,000. I would love that, but yeah. <laughs> I couldn't take anybody on a ride still, though, too, because of COVID. That's right. How I are know. It's really unfair, isn't it? We didn't talk about the uh, seats in that thing. 30-way yeah, the... power or something? Yes, they're, Lincoln calls them their perfect position seats, and they have 30 different adjustments. So it takes a while to get them just right, but when you get them right, man, they feel great. And between that and the heated and ventilated and massage function, what? I, could, I could just hang out <laughs> oh in here gosh. all day. And 23 speakers in the audio system. Yeah, that uh, Revel audio system that they have in there is, again, it's it's another world-class feature in that car. And it's just, you know, they decide when when Ford got rid of Jaguar and Aston Martin and that a bunch of years ago, they said, we're all in on Lincoln. And they really decided to take everything up market, and they've done a really good job. They wow. Turn, turn that around, this is sure. Yeah. Luxurious. <laughs> Massaging sheets, I think, is where you got Charlotte's <laughs> attention. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> all right, Harvey, thank you. Go to ridesanddrives.com for more on this review and all the other cars. Good to see you. It was nice, Great. Do, it was nice Great doing that in person, you. too. I, I know. I can't wait till we can ride together again. <laughs> all right, Harvey, thank you.